Um, John, you're the director of Closed Circuit, a new film coming out, um, which is absolutely thrilling and gripping. Um, I wondered, how do you, as a director, keep the tension throughout a film with lots of different personal plus big things happening? Uh, with extreme difficulty is the, is the sort of um, uh, facetious answer to that. Um, it's, it took a long time to edit and you know all of that is about calibration and we just had to work and work and work and work and keep editing and keep refining and stepping back and looking at it and every time you would feel that the tension sags somewhere then you have to cut in a slightly different way and it's not about cutting faster necessarily it's always about keeping an eye on what is moving forward in the film right. at any given time and trying to be as objective as you can and occasionally having to have friends come in and tell you what's going on and see if what you're doing is actually landing or not. I see, that, that must work because um, there are things that happen slower in the relationship yeah. between the two main characters plus it's, it's not exactly an action movie but there no. is things that happen. Um, I, I wondered also as a director, you have to collaborate with so many people mm. and delegate so many jobs, you can't do everything yourself. Mm. How do you make it your film and your creative vision? I don't know if it's my creative vision. I mean, I, I think um, I've never seen myself as an auteur or anything of the sort. And I think I surround myself with the very best people I can and I want to know what they can bring to it as much as anything, but they will usually want to hear what I have to say first. So right. the thing that draws you to a project that you feel that you can infuse into the project is usually fed through those people, that they will often take um, the headline ideas from you and then, and then begin to use their sensibilities to bring that back to you. Um, but equally, I like to be surprised by work right. that, the, that people bring, and in the same way as when I work with actors, I want them to surprise me and I want to make them to make the roles their own. But that doesn't mean doing something which is miles away from my understanding of the roles. So you're already choosing, you know, I mean, a film is, is hundreds and thousands, maybe millions of choices all brought together. And um, if you're choosing in the right order and on the right things, then you'll wind up with something which is coherent. Right. And, and, but I do believe that, um, uh, craftspeople are often more talented in collaboration than they are on their own, which is the difference between them and, and sort of artists who are primarily creative, like a writer or a painter, who are, right. are a poet, who, who may be more talented on their own in, the, in, the, in a room and left alone. So that's how ultimately something comes together and feels coherent, but it's, um, I don't think it's one person's vision for a second. Right. You talked about bringing the best people together. Mm. Obviously, behind the scenes, we don't see that, but what a fantastic cast mm -hmm. Amazing. you have. And I was looking through your um, bio a little bit, mm. and you've worked with an incredible amount of top British actors. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, um, who else would you like to work with that you haven't yet worked with, or again? Because some people recur throughout your projects, I noticed. Yeah. Um, there are very few actors that I've worked with that I don't want to work with again, yes. let me put it that way, because oh, it is one of the great joys of my working life is working with actors, and I've been really fortunate to work with, as you say, some of the best in, in the film world, um, like Michael Caine or Andrew Garfield, um, and in the theatre world, and in the American theatre world, like Christopher Walken and Sam Rockwell. Um, uh, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis would be all right. right. He, he's pretty good, I hear. So. Great. So what, what is your next project? It's a film called Brooklyn, which is based on a novel by Colm Tobin, um, which Nick Hornby has adapted, and we're hoping to shoot it next March. Great. Well, thank you very much. That was My pleasure. Lovely. Thank you very much. Sure.